I recently showed you how to check to find out if your device is certified for the Google Play Store Protect service. And I know a lot of people are going to be using either custom ROMs or even just devices they bought from resellers that are not considered to be quote certified when you check that in the Google Play Store. But thankfully there is a way that we can manually certify our device, at least register our device to be certified. However, before we can do that, we first need to find out what our Google Services Framework Android ID is. Now this is a little bit different than your unique Android ID that again I've shown you how to reset in a previous tutorial. That was for advertising. This is for Google Services Framework in general. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download an application called Device ID. So if you are able to open up the Play Store and search for the application Device ID, we're going to grab the one with the blue icon. Then great, go ahead and download it from there and open it. However, if you are not able to, I'm also going to be linking to the APK mirror of this application so that you can sideload this manually without needing to use the Play Store. Because again, a lot of people aren't going to be able to use the Play Store if you're running from a custom ROM and don't have the proper Google Apps installed. So once we have downloaded that device ID and installed it on our phone or our tablet, all we have to do is open up the application and you may get a permissions prompt for access to the phone. When you open up this, you can deny it. It's not required to get this piece of information. So once we open up that application, all we have to do is look at the Google Services Framework, the GSF right here, and you're going to get a unique alphanumeric code right here. All we have to do is write this down or we can tap it and copy it if we want, but that's what we're going to use to register our device. So that is how to find your Google Services Framework Android ID on your Android smartphone or tablet.